In this video, the goal is to use the concept of straight angles to find the value of the missing angles. That is, we need to use the diagram below to find the value of x and y. So what we want to do is we want to look for straight line segments and see what equations we could set up to find the value of the missing variables. That is, if we look over here, notice how this angle, this 75 degree angle and this angle y, together the two of them form a straight line. So if we use this concept of straight angles, we could set up the equation 75 degrees plus y equals 180 degrees. And now once again, the reason we could set up this equation is this 75 degree angle and this angle y together both form a straight line and the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. So now to solve for the measure of angle y, we could subtract 75 degrees from both sides of this equation. And now we note that 75 degrees minus 75 degrees is 0, so this cancels out, leaving us with y equals, and now 180 degrees minus 75 degrees, is 105 degrees. So, so far we have one piece of our answer. We have 105 degrees for the value or the measure of angle Y. So now what we want to do next is we're going to plug this information in and this is going to help us find the value of X. So what we could do is now we could focus on a different straight angle segment. That is, now that we know that Y is 105 degrees, we could focus on another straight angle. We have this 105 degree angle, this angle x minus 10, and this angle of 20 degrees. But together, these three angles build another straight line. So what we could do is, we could add these three angles together and set that equal to 180 degrees. So what equation we could set up? we could set up 105 degrees plus x minus 10 plus 20 degrees equals 180 degrees. And now just to be formal, we'll put a degree symbol around 10. But this is really x degrees minus 10 degrees, but the symbols are important. So now what we could do is we could combine like terms. We have 105 minus 10 plus 20. Well, 105 minus 10 is 95, and 95 plus 20 is 115. So now what we could set up is we have x plus 115 degrees equals 180 degrees. So now to solve for x, all we need to do is subtract 115 degrees from both sides of this equation. And now we note on the left hand side 115 degrees minus 115 degrees cancels, leaving us with x equals and now 180 degrees minus 115 degrees is equal to 65 degrees. So the value of y, we have 105 degrees. And the value of x, we have 65 degrees. But now remember, if this were a test, it's always a good idea to check your work. So now if we plug these numbers in, we have 65 degrees minus 10 degrees is 55 degrees. So the measure of this angle here is 55 degrees, and the measure of this angle is 20 degrees. And if we add all of this together, 105 degrees plus 55 degrees is 160 degrees, plus 20 degrees is 180 degrees. So these values do check out. But remember, that's the step we save for the last part once we find our answers. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on finding the value of unknown angles when we have intersecting lines. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.